Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewelry School and we're going to look at the Ring Wizard tool in Rhino Gold 4. Now the Ring Wizard is found under the Jewelry tab and it's the second icon along. I'll just click that. And we're going to be making three men's wedding bands today. So uh, just to explain some of the information here in the Wizard uh, by default, uh, mine is set up uh, for UK sizing, but uh, you can click on the down arrow there and select your country for your sizing and select your ring size. So size T is a common uh, popular men's size ring, so we'll, I'll leave that at size T UK. This is a 19.5mm diameter, so if you are in a different country, you might want to pick a different size. Now the first thing we're going to see is the ring profile. So we're going to come and change that. It defaults to one with a curved top, but we'll change it to a half round profile. So just clicking on that little profile icon brings up the ring profiles. And we'll pick the fourth one along here. It's numbered 004. It's a half round, so it's curved on the top and it's flat on the inside. Now, in Rhino Gold terminology, that's called a profile. Commonly, people might refer to it as a cross-section, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a profile. And I'm just going to maximize my perspective viewport here. Double-click in the viewport name. And normally, what I like to do is to change my display mode whilst I'm using the Ring Builder, Ring Wizard, I should say. I like to change it to Ghost to Display find it's a bit easier to see what's happening and using the ring wizard tool we can come in and we've got some arrows one uh, that allows us to adjust the width of the band and one that allows us to adjust the height of that uh, cross section that we selected so let's just pull it this a little bit make it a bit wider and we'll make it about 7 mil wide and how high is this? Might make it, uh, let's say, close to 2 mil. I think now what you might have noticed is some numbers appear there. I can actually double click on uh, one of those arrows and select a specific width. So I can just type in 7 here to make it precisely 7 mil wide. And double clicking on this bottom arrow, let's make that 2 mil. So, if we're happy with that, we can just hit the check mark or tick symbol, and that closes the wizard. Now, if I hold down my shift button and click with my right mouse button, I can pan on that viewport around. So, I'm just going to scroll in using my scroll wheel here and click on the ring band. And you'll see at the bottom of my screen, my gumball function is on. If yours is not on your system, you'll have to just press it to, to uh, make it go bold. And we're going to uh, click on this green arrow and just drag this out of the way a little bit. So we're going to put, put another ring in here. So that's our first ring band. Now just make sure that you deselect the ring, okay? You don't want it to be selected because we're going to make another ring now and if that ring is selected the wizard will start editing the parameters for the selected ring. So just click away from it somewhere on uh, the grid and run the wizard again. Um, this time we might change size here. I'll pick a size. You. It's a little larger. And we're going to come and select a different ring profile again here. So we click on little icon there. And you might try this one, 011. Double click. And again, I can come in and adjust my parameters here.
you can see that cross sections now changed. Uh, just to point out something here, another method of entering these values if uh, you don't want to do it dynamically here uh, in the perspective viewport is you can actually type in some measurements here. So uh, this profile height is currently set to 2 millimeters. If I double click here you'll see that is the setting. And the width is 5.95 which is reflected here in this field. So you've got a number of ways of entering uh, your measurements for people that have been using the software for a period of time they might be more familiar with this uh, you can come in and again adjust that and remember to tab to accept the value from that field and the field will adjust so if I click on it here again you'll see that will now say it's 7 mil wide now just an important thing is um, whilst that field is active uh, if I use my scroll wheel it will actually scroll the values in that field so just be aware of that uh, when you finished entering a value you should just click away just to close that field okay you'll see it's reflected across here that width has changed to 7 mil but uh, that's now our, our new width so if I'm happy with that I can just uh, click the check symbol Once again, we'll use the gumball here and just drag this across somewhere next to that other ring. And make sure you deselect it and run the wizard again. Or we'll pick a third style of ring. Now, for this cross section profile, I'll leave this as it is, but we'll make it a bit wider. We'll come in this way. Again, make this 7 mil wide. But I just wanted to show you another thing here is we can actually adjust and hollow out the inside of the ring band. So if I wanted to save a little bit on material costs and reduce the overall cost of the ring, we can come here and adjust this value. And you can see it's reflected here in my cross section profile. This ring band is now 0.8 of a millimeter thick on the side and it's 0.8 of a millimeter thick in the top. But you can see that profile has changed to reflect that setting. I might make it a bit thicker. Let's say one mil. And if we're happy with that we can again just hit the tick symbol. And now I've got three ring bands. So I'm just going to change my view. I'm holding down now my shift button and clicking my right mouse button to drag these or pan the, the viewport. And we'll come up here and change to our rendered mode. That's the blue sphere. You can see these are all the, the three rings. We'll come in and just quickly change the materials here. If you look at your tab on the right hand side, there's one here that lists the Rhino materials. It's represented by a gold sphere and th there under the tab called metals we can choose a metal type here. So the software comes with a whole bunch of different uh, metals and metal finishes from polished through to sandblasted and different finishes. So let's pick for the first band we did we'll pick uh, 18 karat white gold and we can just dra drag the material onto the ring band and that will change dynamically. Let's leave that one as gold and this one that we hollowed out we'll do in some sort of matte finish. So let's find something here. I'll just pick this uh, sandblasted white gold finish. So thank you, that's just the first exercise in showing you the ring wizard. We're going to actually do some more complicated designs in the next few lessons because the ring wizard tool allows you to 
not only select a single profile but you can use multiple cross sections and we'll work on that in the next video.